Sam Rayburn High School for the past seven years has had a pretty good success in the art program. We had an idea, we wanted to have a plan to where we could have uh, some students participate in the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo and be rather successful. We got a couple of pieces in and then that evolved to maybe saying, hey, it would be really neat to have a grand champion. So back in 2013, we were able to land a grand champion and that opened up the doors for everything else. After we kind of started figuring out what the rodeo wanted, we started venturing out to, you know, further ranches and going out to, we've been to Guthrie, Texas, we've been to Oklahoma to take photos for the kids. And um, it's just building, you know, networking and building relationships with, you know, ranchers and cowboys and trying to get opportunities to go out to their ranches and, and take photos for our kids because uh, what the rodeo wants is authentic, you know, stories, you know, for the kids to tell a story in their drawing. So uh, we figured that, you know, going out to actual ranches and, and capturing the life of, of cowboys and you know in the ranch you know that that's helped us you know become better educators as far as finding better resources for, for our students. So we started with the local rodeo which is the Houston Rodeo and then we did Pasadena Rodeo as well. After that we started finding more opportunities for our kids as far as participating in the San Antonio Rodeo. We, we did fairly well there. We've got a couple of grand champions, some reserve grand champions on top of, you know, some more auction lots. And then we started venturing off to the Austin Rodeo, and we've also got a couple of grand champions there, uh, some reserve grand champions, some, some more lots there as well. One more rodeo that we've, we've done is the Fort Worth Rodeo. We've, we've gotten grand champion this past year for the first time. The student's name was Brandy Villegas. It was her second year in art, and that was her first color drawing. And, the title of the piece was called Sitting Tall, and it was done with Prismacolor pencils on vellum. This year was pretty special. We ended up getting three grand champions in the state of Texas when it comes to rodeo. Thank you all for the help. Sold it to you, $240,000, $240,000. A new record, a new record here. How do you feel about that, coming in here, $240,000 for that painting? Can you tell us how you're feeling right now? Really excited. <laughs> so what's going through your mind as you're kind of walking back and forth here and kind of hearing those numbers about your piece of art? Um, I was really excited for that, and I got really nervous, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to go to school where? Um, to U of H or Texas A&M. Uh -huh. And hopefully you'd like to parlay that into being an architect someday? Yeah, <laughs> I want to be an architect. So. All right, well, congratulations. Let's hear it one more time for Hector Maldonado. So in Austin, we took five of the top eight prizes. Uh, we have a grand champion in traditional drawing. We also have a reserve grand champion in traditional drawing. And then in photography, we got the grand champion and in digital medium we also got the grand champion and the reserve. Okay so not, a, not all of our students are made for rodeos so there are some other contests that offer them opportunities. One of them is Scholastic and that's the longest running art contest in the nation. We've had a lot of success actually in Scholastic. The Scholastic Art and Writing Awards were started in 1923 and they have since become a huge engine to support creative teenagers across America. Here's an incredible list of famous alumni, Andy Warhol, Sylvia Plath, Truman Capote, Bernard Malamud, and more recently, uh, Lena Dunham and Zach Posen. Um, whether the work was created in 1923 or whether it's work that we're seeing today, it provides a powerful glimpse into the lives of teenagers. And it also lets us see how they will depict the world around them because the odds are that these will be our next great American artists and writers. I'm best at uh, drawing, but I dabble in every art form I can. My career pathway is art, because they make you pick a career pathway, and my teacher saw something in me that I didn't see myself, and they got me doing rodeo. And my first rodeo, I made auction, and I was like, well, I'm gonna keep doing this. I mean, it's fun, and it's making me money, so, and it just developed into a passion. At first, I had a teacher, her name was Haley Triber, and she introduced me into art competitions. Then I had Raina and Ray Goza who 
kind of pushed me more than I knew I could into color and composition and just time management. And it, it just went on from there. I went into digital media with Flores and did good in that. And now I'm just continuing in all, all genres of art. My future plans is to uh, go to San Jack for my basics and then hopefully go to UT afterwards and major in fine arts and marketing. I want to be an art director for any, like either a theater arts company or a magazine company, anything that's visual arts. Wouldn't change a thing. Melissa Sosa from Pasadena Independent School District, Sam Rayburn. Wants to study animation and art, looking at University of Texas and Cal Arts. You know, loves Norman Rockwell, loves Norman Rockwell. The auction is kind of scary because you have to go in front of everyone and then sometimes it's live and you have to keep walking and smiling. And it's funny because the buyers, they're not really smiling. It, they're all like very stoic, I guess, because it's they're like buying paintings for sort of like business, they have to be sort of serious about it. And I mean, it's kind of fun too. We're not 185, I'll do it again. I'm 175, 185, I'll know 175, 85, 85. We're not 175, 85, we're not 175, 85, I'll know 175, 185. 175, 185,000. Barbara Gray has a bid at 175, 185. Hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Hundred and eighty-five. Hundred and eighty-five. You put a bob, you put a bomb, one eighty-five, I'm a hundred and eighty, hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. But a bomb, but a bomb, you put a bomb, hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Many more. Hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Congratulations. Sold it to you. Hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Cheryl and Gary Deicher, Sharon and George Bouchard, Renee and Taylor Whitaker, and Dr. Joe and Terry Agris. Well, when they pick me, it's really nice because I it like lets me know that people like my art. And it's also nice knowing that others are willing to put in money to like support artists because that'll help me in the future. That's how we make it. And so it's really reassuring to know that there's these types of people who love artists. The image I chose for Houston, I had help from my teachers to choose it. That one, it stood out more because of the sweater, because of the intricate details of the knitting. And if I could pull that off, then I feel like that would show a lot of my skill. And I really like the colors in it, like the red and the yellow and blue, like the primary colors, so I thought it was interesting. So here at Sam Raver and the teachers are very dedicated to the students. They want to be successful and, and we see that in them and we also want to push them to become successful in their drawings or anything that they do so that they can go on and do greater things in art and also that receive scholarships in the, in the making. Uh, it's, it's scary. It's scary because to have a kiddo get $38,000 cash from one contest, be it, it can be a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, that's a lot of responsibility. Whenever we see our kids win in and they're able to pay for college, it's just a motivation factor for us. Like we want to keep doing that for the kids. So yeah, at the end of the day, it's, it's for the kids. That's why we do it. You know, that's why we're in education. That's those students that get the National Golds the, and the uh, American Vision Award are honored at Carnegie Hall in New York every June. So we have two students that are going to be able to go this year.